Hey everyone and welcome to another video and today what we're doing is taking a look at some Bluetooth headphones that were actually sent out to me uh, by an Amazon seller that actually reached out. Now I'm not even going to attempt to say the name of this particular um, set of headphones and what I'll do is I'll simply just put a link for the seller's shop in the description below and then anybody interested can go down there and actually take a look at it. I was planning on doing an actual unboxing of these but I've already had these for roughly around a week. I've not even opened the package yet. Um, basically just had way too much going on with uh, WWDC as well as all the updates, um, all the betas I'm running and just been super busy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip the unboxing part because most people generally they're not that bothered about unboxings for these kind of products because this is more of a budget sort of product. I will have on screen the actual details in terms of functionality, things like that, um, any type of tech specs. Just taking a quick look, in the box we get a user manual, we also get a micro USB charging cable and as well as that we also get a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable with inline volume I'm guessing as well as possibly or yeah that may literally just be for phone calls so it might not actually be a volume adjustment um, the button itself seems to just be a sort of single click as opposed to being um, a rocker for volume but we'll, we'll see obviously that for me right now with iPhones isn't really anything I'm going to be using. Taking a look at the headphones themselves now having used AirPods Max for quite some time um, firstly it's going to be a very unfair comparison um, but secondly the, the size instantly sort of stands out. Um, the build quality also obviously stands out. Um, nothing's really going to come close to AirPods Max in terms of the, the way the construction and the, the design that they've actually made. But considering um, how big these actually get, they do actually fold quite small, very compact. So taking a quick look at the actual headphones themselves. So we do have some capacitive buttons on this side so this is on the left hand side which mm, i'm not too sure about that i would have preferred the buttons to have been on the right hand side being right handed myself that would make it a lot more easy in fact it's actually not a capacitive they're not capacitive buttons you actually have tactile feedback so that that actually makes that slightly better um, there are no notches or anything so in terms of actually pressing the correct button uh, it's just a case of muscle memory so you're gonna have to figure out where each thing is now had there been four rather than the five that would have been very simple because you could have simply done top bottom left right uh, with this having five functions you have to kind of remember where those two are and then where these two are um, but to be perfectly honest with these kind of things with uh, even with the airpods max generally um, apart from the sort of noise reduction toggle there's very little else that i, I never really use the volume um, adjustment on the airpods max themselves let's take a look at fitment so we do have uh, the, the standard sort of click um, adjustment on each on each side let's try this out yeah so we'll go one on each and try that and just while I'm getting this set these are obviously on ear design rather than over ear so even though I don't think these are actually advertised as having any type of um, noise cancellation or anything like that. Um, you will get isolation simply because you do have quite padded cups. Um, it doesn't rotate, so the, pa the cups themselves don't rotate. Yeah, just a tiny bit more. And the top section, it does have some padding, so it is a very soft touch material, um, but there's not a lot. Yeah, so it does it does give um, a fair bit of isolation just by putting putting these over your ears. All right, so just on the bottom there, if I can get it to focus in. 
just there is the power button so what we'll do is we'll switch these on we get a little blue light and well a blue and red flashing light and what we'll do is I will pull up the Bluetooth settings on my iPhone there we have I know you won't be able to see this it'll look all weird to you but just at the bottom there we do have the actual headphones themselves what I will do is just pop them on yeah I get a little chime and it is connected okay that's interesting so on my what I'll do is I'll take a little photo so on my phone screen I actually get a percentage for these headphones so currently is saying that they're actually at 90% um, which I wasn't actually expecting that to be integrated into iOS so that's that's actually a bit of a bonus um, what I'll do is I'll come into YouTube and I'll just go on one of my videos just to test um, audio okay so first impressions is very very bass heavy um, incredibly bassy even on just the vocals um, instantly it's it's incredibly deep I'll just start a screen recording and we'll go into the settings and see what if any uh, adjustments we actually have so if we come back into Bluetooth we have connected we have device type so we will choose headphones uh, the name and that's it so in terms of the Bluetooth settings you don't really have much let's try some music Okay, so I mean, listen to some better source material, essentially, um, using the actual songs through iTunes. Um, the audio is a lot better. Uh, bass is still very, very high. It kicks in very deep. Um, the actual cushions push away from your ears when, when you're really pushing it. Um, they're not as loud as I would have thought they would have been. Um, apart from AirPods Max, most sort of headphones that I've actually used, generally um, you don't need to actually push them to their maximum in order to actually get them quite loud. These literally even on full blast, they're not, I wouldn't say they're excessively loud. Um, they do have quite a lot of sound leakage even with the cushions in place but obviously um, that's to be expected at this price point. Um, treble wise they're not bad. Um, the vocals and the higher pitched do come through quite clean. I'd say mids is probably the weak point for these. Um, they just sound kind of muddy um, but overall it's, it's not too bad. These as a very compact uh, set of uh, over, well on-ear headphones it's it's not too bad the EQ function f to me um, does nothing um, I've, I've tried several times going through it and unless I'm missing something um, it just doesn't seem to do anything a couple of bonus points essentially is the fact that you do get uh, the uh, battery percentage coming up on screen uh, despite the fact that I, w I wasn't really expecting that. Um, whether or not that's accurate is a different matter because it's still say 90% and I have been tested for quite a while as well. Um, yeah, overall, they're not, they're not too bad. Uh, wired connection wise, um, I probably wouldn't ever use these wired. So I don't think it's gonna make a massive difference. Um, in terms of battery performance, we will have to wait and see what the real world usage actually is. Now being completely honest, I probably won't personally be using these um, for the simple reason that obviously I've got my AirPods Max. So I'll probably pass this to a family member and let them test it out and then report back to me in terms of what the battery life is actually like. And then obviously they can then um, give me that feedback and then what I'll do is I'll just add that in the description below or as a comment um, in this video if it's at a later date so more of a long-term type of uh, review but yeah um, not not too bad I'd say um, for anybody that's literally just looking for a nice compact cheap set of uh, on-ear headphones the name isn't too great but yeah the the product itself uh, overall isn't too bad okay so that's it for this video as always if you haven't already done so please do subscribe to the channel also hit the bell icon that way you're notified whenever i upload a new video and i'd also really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and other than that 
Thanks very much for watching.